Welcome in. Welcome to the stream. What's going on, guys? Good to see you. Good to see you. Check in. Welcome. Hope you're doing well. We are at the end of October. It's been a hell of a month. We've been doing a lot of horror games, a lot of viewer requests. And finally, at the end of it, we get to the game that I wanted to stream all month long. Uh, and I think we could probably finish it tonight. Hopefully we can. Otherwise, it's going to leak over into November and we can't be having that. So uh, I am doing the Rare Thursday stream and um, we're going to see if we can finish it. Going to get back into some Resident Evil 3. This is going to be the original, the classic. Uh, this is the sort of remastered version that's on PC. And a uh, little fan restoration mod type thing. But we did uh, a good chunk of it last night. I thought we did about four hours. We did more like five hours. So hopefully we were able to get this done in a relatively timely fashion. I don't really have anything else after this. So if I do end up beating it pretty quick... Um, might just be a short stream. I don't know. I guess it depends on what the situation is going to be like. But let's go ahead and get things started. Get back into it. And, uh, yeah. Should be good. Sos nexto. Oh, look at that. It's automatically capturing. I didn't think it would actually do that. Okay. Get my chat and everything all set up here, so we're looking pretty good, maybe. Okay. Resident Evil. Three. Nemesis. I don't know how this uh, <laughs> game does save files or anything like that. I didn't even know if there was going to be a location, so I was just like hoping that my save file was going to be saved, but... Uh, I wasn't sure until I booted it up because I haven't launched this since last night. Anyway, uh, we went through the whole downtown section, uptown section, um, the, I forget was it, what was in the middle, what was it? <laughs> Something else. I don't know, but we went on the cable car, we did a bunch of stuff. Uh, and then we got through, I think, pretty much everything in the clock tower. So now we're here, Jill has just fought the Nemesis one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, she's been struck with the little tendril thing, so now she's got the virus coursing through her. So we have momentarily switched over uh, from Jill to Carlos. And uh, there's going to be a little, I think it's a, you know, it, it's not just like running through a couple rooms. It's somewhat substantial, but um, it's definitely not as big as like a route from, say, the previous Resident Evil games. It's not going to be terribly long. But I think he's got a good little grip of gameplay here, so we'll see. I noticed that he had his own, um, he's got his own weapons, but he's also got his own ink ribbons too, which is nice. And I guess his item box just has miscellaneous stuff. So, well, maybe just the knife. Actually, looking at it, I saw the bar there. It didn't look like there's any other items. <laughs> Nothing hidden. I don't know where exactly we need to go. Oh, I, maybe I do. I think I might actually. There was the room, and I don't remember where it was, but there was the room sort of in this area, I think, where um, there was a big bell. It was like a replacement bell or something like that for the clock tower. I think I might need to go over there because Jill tried to push it and then she couldn't. She got frustrated and kicked it. But it said something like, uh, it would take immense strength to push this thing. So I guess we'll have to see if Carlos has that immense strength. But I don't remember specifically where it is. Is it dead? Look at that. Poisoned. I was like, the big zombie room wasn't in front of the uh, blue herbs, was it? <laughs> it was not. Okay, we're good. We're good. I was getting a little worried there for a second. 
Yeah, he doesn't have his own herbs or anything like that. No health items at the moment. I don't know if we could have, like, left him something or not, but... I actually kind of forgot we would switch over to him, so I wasn't really thinking about it. Not a big deal. Oh, here it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look at that. He can move it himself. So I guess Mr. Carlos here has the immense strength. strong. Locked with a simple lock. Oh, shit. Seventy-nine percent. I don't know if he has, like, a, any ammo that he can pick up to get that back up, but he's got a percentage here for his ammunition reserves. Oh, uh, the hospital. Look, it doesn't say Raccoon City Hospital. It just says Raccoon Hospital. So this is the hospital for raccoons. You would think it'd be a lot smaller. Yes. Oh. <laughs> okay. The hunters are back. Hold that thought. Oh, hey, a safe room. Okay, cool. I wonder if... Here's a health thing. Take the first aid spray. I wonder if... Um... I don't remember if you could come back here as Jill, so I don't know if I should pick up items or if I should just leave them, maybe. Various medicines. Nothing suspicious. Emergency light. What is that? It's like a picture of a pregnant woman. Oh, look at that. He's got ink ribbons. Um. Curtain is closed. I can't see through the room next door. I guess I'll save. There's so many saves now. Not in terms of ink ribbons, just in terms of, like, overall, which I've saved already. <laughs> it's too late. It's too late, Akuma. But welcome, man. Glad to see you. Yeah, I took the option away, even, for any sort of redemption last week. So it's like, if anybody wanted to redeem that for something, it's, it's too late now. The uh, classic stuff will be back up, but of course some of that will be more, you know, pricey in terms of points and everything. I'll adjust it as needed. I feel like I've, there's only a handful of games I want to do over the course of November and December, so I might actually end up making the redemption thing cheaper in case anybody was feeling like they wanted to have me play something. But I'm thinking of adding a couple other things, maybe like a multiplayer thing, and uh, maybe an additional wheel. I don't think anybody's redeemed the, the wheel yet. The wheel of the worst for the multitude of Steam games that I have, but I could probably do the same thing for my physical collection, so. I need a lot of games this month. <laughs> Too many. I man I uh, I'm surprised I managed to get all of them in. Director's diary, September 10th. These patients suffer from gangrene and congestion of their blood at first, and their mind slowly deteriorates. In the end, there is nothing left of their mind. When that happens, every mercy killing seems pointless. After all, they're already dead. This disease is unlike any I've ever witnessed. Once the patient's mind is gone, they become flesh, uh, they become flesh hunger monsters. That's a, <laughs> that's an interesting way to put it. And act like wild animals who are on some type of bloodlust. September 18th. Another patient has been admitted to the hospital. He's showing symptoms of the disease at this point, but I haven't been able to sleep at all these past few days. I refuse to let these patients become zombies, quote unquote. Hey, they actually said it. I am not just an ordinary citizen, I'm a doctor. Damn it, Jim. Even if I die, my clinical charts will contribute to finding a cure. So 
September 26th. We lost most of the doctors and staff during the battle with the zombie quote-unquote patients. It's impossible to maintain the hospital under these conditions, and I know that it's too late for me. I'm beginning to feel the same itchy and hungry desire that all my patients felt. It's too late for me. One of the most, I've, I, I've come to find that people also feel like that uh, one journal entry from the original Resident Evil was, it was uh, you know, a standout, I guess, in terms of like lore. But the one where the guy actually contracts the T-virus and then he starts logging his symptoms. And at the end of it, he's talking about how itchy he's feeling and hungry and the uh, lump of flesh that falls off of him. Itchy, tasty, uh... I always liked that journal entry. It always felt unnerving when I first read it, but it's, uh, it's kind of a classic these days, in my opinion. Uh, no, 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 no. Let's check it out. What is this? Uh, outside of being a tape recorder. Portable tape recorder. Patient's diagnosis is recorded on here. Okay. Well, I'm sure it'll come in handy at some point. Is that, is that a pizza calendar? <laughs> it's a hospital map. Oh, good. Ooh, goddamn, there's a lot of... A lot to this hospital. Got a lot of ground to cover, I guess. H-gun bullets. I wonder if he's able to deliver his inventory over to Joe after he's done. His neck has been devoured from the inside out. Wait, what? Inside out? How does that happen? <laughs> Are there, like, worm zombies now? Unfinished coffee. Alright, doesn't seem to be anything else here. Voice recognition lock. Will you push the microphone button? Oh! I guess. Please enter your voice. <laughs> enter your voice. <laughs> it's easy to fool. You don't even need to say a password or anything specific. You just need to talk into it. Random words. Which floor will you move to? Um. I don't know. Let's do the basement first, I guess. We'll go down and work our way up. Hand trucks of old observation devices. Alrighty. We've already seen that there are hunters around, so I feel like I gotta be careful. I do not like the hunters. Um, especially in the original, original version of Resident Evil. And this is before the director's cut version, but boy, they are brutal. I think by the time you get to the director's cut, they're somewhat easy. They take maybe two or three shotgun blasts, and then you pretty much rack up a lot of shotgun ammunition in that particular version of the game. But it's a lot harder to get the type of ammunition that you need in the original game. Like the original version of it, not the director's cut. And on top of that, I think they like decapitate you. I don't think they did that in the uh, Another later versions. Still alive. What are you doing? Have you lost your mind? Oh. Sometimes it's easy to forget one's loyalties. Just like that traitor. You mean the guy who shot <laughs> Well, he does not you? look like he sounds. You know gray hair and ugly mug. I can't believe he had the guts to shoot me. That traitor! You mean Nikolai? Yeah, Nikolai's still alive. What? <laughs> Wait, why was there a bomb in there? Oh no, his arms. Oh no, he still has them. <laughs> like smoke was coming out of his shoulders. I thought his arms blew off. What the hell was that? Alright. I guess he was, yeah, random guy. He was part of the Umbrella team, but what was he trying to pull out of here? Huh. Also, I guess Nikolai's still alive, so the, uh, <laughs> him blowing himself up at the gas station maybe was just a ruse. Bottles of various viruses and other things. That guy doesn't have anything on him either, which is sort of unexpected. Some of this stuff looks like it should be important, like I should be able to investigate it, but he's not actually interacting with anything. Beakers and flasks. Uh, 
Still more beakers and flasks. Extreme caution is needed when handling chemicals. <laughs> okay. Thanks for the warning. Is there a door? Oh yeah, there was. Well, at least there's something. Ah, high precision microscope. That wasn't what I was eyeing at. Uh, <laughs> it seems like there's hunters and tanks, so I guess this is an umbrella funded uh, medical facility. Will you take the medium base? Sure, why not? I don't know what that is or what that does, but might need it for something. Material used to create the cultivation medium needed for the vaccine creation. Ah. Creates a vaccine cultivation medium combined with several chemicals. Sure hope I got enough space for this. Like in the first Resident Evil, you needed like a full inventory space to mix some chemicals together. Seems that they were cultivating part of a creature's cells here. Medical instruction manual. Umbrella, Umbrella Medical Service North American Division, Douglas Rover. In order to activate the synthesizer to cultivate the vaccine, please follow the procedures detailed below. 1. Supply enough energy to the system. Set the medium base to the device. When the device is ready, you can start mixing the vaccine medium. To mix the vaccine, you need to control the five levers. This will cause the two gauges to increase or decrease. If you adjust the two gauges so that they stop at the center, the vaccine medium will then be produced automatically. Oh, okay. I guess I'll just have to play it by eye then. Anything else in here? Alright, let's see. Seems to be an electrical power supply switcher. It's set next to the cultivation tank. Will you switch the electric power supply? Sure. Oh. Well, I didn't know it was going to do that. But see, that's why I didn't interact with it at first, because I wasn't sure if something was going to happen there. They usually break out anyway. Uh, synthesizer of chemicals, medium base can be set here. Sure then, let's do it. Will you operate the synthesizer? Uh. Oh hey, I got a first try. Nice. <laughs> I was just messing around. I just I didn't know what all of them were gonna do, but will you take the vaccine medium? Sure. No reason why I shouldn't. Nothing more. Oh. <laughs> just just get out of that situation entirely. I feel like that's the best for everybody. expected there to be one in the hallway. Um, alright, we still have another thing to go to. Let's go to four, the fourth floor. I heard something, but I don't know if that was the elevator or something else. Extra cautious, I guess. I think those things on the wall are explosives. I don't know specifically what they are, but I remember seeing one before that was attached to the umbrella offices, and I wanted to go investigate it. I think it was over there anyway. Whoa, shit. Uh, okay. <laughs> I wanted to go investigate it, and then I shot in that direction because I was getting attacked by zombies and ended up uh, nearly killing myself. You doing okay there, Carlos? Okay, he's all right. Appears to be a book on general medical science. <laughs> now we got some more digging to do. Cardboard box with chemicals in it. Carlos can't run just yet. So you can't investigate it though, which is weird. You'd think it would be like something important or he'd say something on it but he doesn't 
We can take the sick room key. Oh, I've always wanted to go to the sick room. Unknown creatures are soaked in formalin. Photo D. The zombies are walking. Look at them go. It says the effect of the T-virus on the backside. Taking photo D. This is all evidence that I will use against Umbrella, I guess. They can't cover this up forever. Is that it? It's like this thing is still sitting here. Cultivation medium used to make the vaccine. It needs to be mixed with vaccine base to create the vaccine. Okay, so we don't even have the full vaccine. It's just the vaccine medium. And then what's this? It seems to be a key for the sick room. It says 402. Okay. Cardboard box with chemicals in it. Those guys are twitching down there. Various files on viruses and vaccines. Looks like there's something back there, but can't investigate it. That all says the same damn thing. It's too dark to see anything outside. It's not my fault. Make sure that you return the materials to their original positions after inspection. You got it, Doc. Now here's 401. I guess the next one would pro- Oh, shit. Next one would probably be 402. <laughs> Just the stink room, okay. <laughs> Uh, here, I'll combine these two. Because I'm running out of space. Use a sick room key. You no longer need this key. Toss it. I don't need it. Make sure there's no snakes in here. Maybe those are the things that were tearing outside of that one guy from the inside out. Something seems to have been placed here. Oh, I think I see the something. Christmas tree. Can't interact with anything else. I don't know where that was. Where was that? Oh. What? Oh, on the other side. It's locked with a number base lock. First digit number. Oh, shit. Um. Did something say? I don't know if we had any word on, uh, any sort of combination, I forget. I just wasn't paying attention when I read the log, I guess. Doesn't seem to be anything in here, so no information. Hold on, let's take a look at the files. Medical instruction manual. This is the director's diary. No, that didn't have anything. Medical instruction manual, maybe. Nope, nothing there either. Yeah, I don't think I picked anything up that had any information on a code. What could it be and where was it? ABC, easy as one, two, three. That ain't it either. Okay, I'm gonna go in the other room. I think there's one more snake in there. Might have been a, like a log or something that I missed. Oh, well, that was easy. Doctor's body is holding a slip. Numbers 325 are printed on the slip. There you go. Got it. A number three, a number two, and a number five. Ah, 
Looks like nail polish. Take the vaccine base, sure. There it is, okay. There we go, and that's the full vaccine. Vaccine that is effective against the virus infection. All right. Well, good. Oh, shit. <laughs> Door won't close. I didn't think that actually script that in. That's pretty nasty. Uh, first floor, I guess. sorts of fun going on in here. Is that it? What a horrible place this is. Okay. I don't think there's anything else. I think the next room... Okay, good. <laughs> is the uh, safe room, so... There was a spot on the way back, I think, that there were more, uh, green herbs and stuff, but... Actually... I mean, I can just put that in there, and then pick it back up once we get inside, just in case there's any additional pickups. There's no reason I have to hang on to it. I'm gonna go ahead and use one of the ink ribbons, though. first aid spray now and then you know if I can help it <laughs> if not then uh, maybe we'll see if I can outlast whatever's out here we did have the other uh, hunters seems to be a time based bomb oh <laughs> the hunter's still trying to chase me oh hey Full FMV. Come on. Uh. Holy shit. We must have had more place the key structural points because the whole hospital went down. probably are feeling some kind of effect. Uh, let me go back this way for a second. There was a hospital here, but it's gone now. <laughs> it's like, hey, it's like the Silent Hill line. There was a hole here, but it's gone now. Except in this case, it's a hospital. It's completely broken. <laughs> My subway foot long. I'm sorry. It was lost in the fire. Boo, ladies. One at a time. I don't know if like Nemesis is after me or if like, I don't know what's going on. Oh, it's Nemesis, yeah. I was like, I don't know if, like, the bomb just really wrecked this place or what, but I guess Nemesis is here. Shit. Shit, Jesus. Go me. He's whipping my ass.
<laughs> I can't see him, but. Oh, hey, I got him. <laughs> Some fight that was. All right, we did it. Hooray for me. I don't know what he was doing. He was just like hanging out over there, but I didn't, if he wasn't coming to me, I wasn't going to give him a break. Oh, okay. I got that vaccine you wanted. of displeasure how do you feel i'm okay what happened to you i just fought with that monster uh i've got some bad news nikolai's still alive but i thought he was dead <laughs> that guy doesn't know the meaning of the word dead <laughs> your question what is why should why is that bad news i don't know all but, uh, i know is that <laughs> I thought he, he is died. our enemy i'm sorry jill but there's something i gotta take care of i promise i'll meet up with you later but don't worry No, wait. Did I get any of his inventory? I don't think I did. Damn. Okay. It's not like we have a ton of ink ribbons, but I'm going to go ahead and make a save here. Also, the fact that the hospital went up in flames, I guess, tells me <laughs> that we are not going to be able to go back and check it out as Jill. So, I guess I was wondering if I should be a little more thorough because I think there was a couple areas where... You know, I probably could have pushed past the hunters and uh, seen if there was anything worth getting, but eh, probably not. Probably not worth it. Okay, I have a lot of gunpowder, which is nice. I don't know if there's anything else I necessarily need right this moment. I forget how many of the shotgun takes. I guess it's seven. I'll put the grenade launcher for right now. Oh, he's coming through. I heard him, but... <laughs> he's a lot more brutal than he has been. doesn't grunt. I don't know if he's taking pain. Get up! I probably should have waited. She's not limping yet. Hey, I got him. And he's got more parts. Shit, I didn't know he had another gun attachment oh wait what is that never mind then first aid box okay that's three first aid sprays i guess in one deal I mean, that's not bad oh, i guess the door's gone <laughs> wasn't that a loading screen before i guess it was all a ruse I suppose there's nothing else to look at here. Um, oh, there was the gate um, outside near the hospital path. So I guess we'll go that way. Well, the zombies are gone, so that's nice. I don't know. It says it's the box. It's possible. I don't want to just like frivolously use one, but I guess maybe when I use one, I'll see if I could combine another one in there. 
Oh shit. Oh, I didn't know there was another one. It would be nice though. It's locked. Oh shit. Dead? I don't see blood. Oh, I think it's it's coming out now. Locked with simple lock. Oh shit, I forgot about that. She needs the lock pick. Oh, I didn't need to do that. Combine with that, combine with that. Oh boy. We gotta go all the way back, I think. I don't think there's gonna be another uh safe room around here. Hold on, there might have been one on the other side of this hallway. Oh, there is, there is. Okay, good. I was like, I kind of don't want to go back into the piano room, because I don't know if Nemesis is going to be there again. Probably wouldn't be a great idea to confront him. But this is a safe room right here. Uh, I guess I'll keep that for right now. Let's see, we'll just need... The lock pick. That's probably it. You know what? I'm gonna put away the grenade launcher too. It's like we just fought Nemesis. He's probably, I mean, unless I actively seek him out, he's probably not gonna make another appearance for you know, at least a few minutes. I could be totally wrong, but I'm willing to take the chance. Okay. Lockpick has been used. Oh, hey, it's another safe room. Cool. MT. Oh, the mine thrower. <laughs> I think it's the second time I've done that. I'm like, what is MT? You take the part key. Oh, okay, so that will get us in. Key for the main gate of Raccoon Park. Again, you don't call it Raccoon City, just Raccoon Park? Just makes it sound like it's a park for raccoons. I'm not going to save unless there's a ink ribbon. Oh, there is an ink ribbon. I think I'm still not going to save. Let's see how many they give me. Photo E. The zombies are attacking. <laughs> I like how all the photos are just like the FMVs. It's just the FMV, but it's a still shot of it. I guess it works. Okay. Let's see. We're gonna need the key, obviously. Probably not gonna need this. I'm kind of tempted now um, to check out the mine thrower because we haven't really taken a look at it yet. I got six saves. Those might be the last six saves I have in the game, so I gotta be careful. But I think I'm... Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna save. We'll see what happens. I guess if the, it ends up being like Hunter Central in the uh, park, maybe I'll change my mind on that. And get key. You no longer need this key. Cool. It's not taking up inventory space for very long. Oh shit! The old shake. I don't know where to go. I guess I'll go this way. Okay. I think she's doing health, uh, doing fine on health right now. Please dump your trash in the trash can. You appear to be under construction beyond this point. Park map. All right. Cool. This place isn't huge. I remember this being towards the end of the game too. Shape of the fountain changes based on the combination of the gears. Oh boy, we got more gear works. Control panel for the fountain. Will you open the lid? Sure. 
I'm sure that... I don't know. <laughs> Yay! I guess all the gears are in there. I'm wondering if we need to do anything specific with this. Refer to the illustration to drain the pool. Okay. Kind of more right facing. And the dark gears are up top. Oh, it's a slide puzzle. Well, that wasn't very hard. <laughs> that goes down. What the hell does that go down into? I don't know if I'm ready to go there just yet. It seemed like there was more to do. Well, it looks like there's stuff up there, too, including a save room, so... Let me go check out the rest of that, and then we'll head down here, maybe, after the fact. only died one shot which is good but they are still annoying oh look they're turning red too they're sucking her blood she's still fine We could see through the steps for a second. Oh shit! Hunters suck. I think they still take three shotgun blasts. I am not willing to mess around with them. These are weird looking hunters though. They almost got like frog mouths. Really, really big heads. Nice frog sounds in the distance. frog sounds extra loud. Oh, shit. <laughs> that was cool. Mind Thrower was really fun to use, um, especially in Resident Evil 4. I don't remember if they put it in 5. They might have. But I remember using it in 4 to great effect when it came to, like, the shielded enemies. Honestly, it was just, like, placement. I wouldn't even necessarily shoot them onto an enemy. Sometimes i just shoot it on the floor. When he had greater range of movement, though, it was like... Something's gonna come out. When you had greater range of movement, though, it was easier to kind of, like, plan ahead where you're going to shoot them, because you usually get, like, a couple seconds. Was it? It probably was. I mean, it was it was a cool weapon, so... I would not be surprised. Heart key. Oh, we got another one. It's holding something. I seem to remember using it against liquors, and liquors weren't in Resident Evil 4. So it must have been an instance in 5. If there wasn't like a specific mind thrower, there might have been something similar. I remember in one game, they had kind of changed it to where it was like, God, it might have been actually the remake where it was like a, a crossbow bolt that had a, a mind detonator on it, but that one sucked. That wasn't, it wasn't nearly as fun. Uh, written order to the supervisors. Mission requirements, Bravo 16. One, 
Obtain and secure a sample of all the information pertaining to this case. Observe and record combat data on the UBCS. Two, destroy all evidence including the medical facility that has the medical treatment data. Ah, uh, okay. So old... I, I keep, like, not learning his name. I want to call him Vlad, but that's not it. <laughs> that guy. He's, uh... He's still doing these orders. Three, check the guinea pig's ability to accomplish the mission. Once your mission is complete, evaluate the area, or evacuate the area. Remember that you must not help anyone who is not a supervisor, nor bring anything back that might be traced to where it belongs. Hello! Hello, Hunto. Welcome in. Magnum bullets. It's the rear gate to Raccoon Park. It's locked. Is it open? This one? Keys given from a mercenary. It says Raccoon Park Graveyard. What the hell? I am not too bad. How are you doing? Okay, I guess that's not the key to the graveyard. Where the hell does that go? Somewhere. Might be the exit, actually. Looks like there's more over this way, though, so that might be where we need to go. Actually, was that where I was? Shit. No, that's something different. Huh. That might be where the underground tunnel leads to, actually. What have you been up to, Hanto? A little bit of the show? MLB? Just watch the film with a friend. Nice. Was it a horror film? Ah, oh, he saw the substance. I've been trying to get Scoob to watch that by subconsciously suggesting it to him. <laughs> look back, look back where? something I missed thank you Akiri hope the festivities have gone well you'll start doing it yourself <laughs> just tell him oh I saw this really good movie the substance It's a movie. Yeah, he was asking what he was asking about, like, well, he, he was more rhetorically asking, like, I wonder what I should watch. And then he was going to watch that Winnie the Pooh shit um, that can't be good. I've never heard anyone say anything good about that. And I'm like, well, at least the sub, I mean, I don't know if I classify the substance as good. I mean, it wasn't in, in some ways, <laughs> but it's such a bizarre movie. I don't know. I'm going to have one of these green herbs. There's three of them sitting right here. Just one. We got bit by those snakes an awful lot, so I'm wondering if maybe my health is deteriorating just a bit. Let me take a look. I feel like once we get out here, yeah, there's a save room that's just out the side the other area. It's just a question of how much um, is in, in the underground section here, because I do not know. Seems suspicious. In fact, it seems so suspicious that I think I'm gonna equip the shotgun. Shells still remain in the cartridge, reload un unavailable. Okay, fair enough. Scoob would hate it. Yeah, I haven't gotten a good fix on what kind of movies he likes. He, every time he mentions something, it never really sounds like it would appeal to me personally. So I think we might have different tastes movie-wise. And I'm not saying that, you know, I thought the substance was great or anything. I just thought it was so damn weird. Hmm. 
Yes, please, God. Go up the goddamn ladder. Oh shit, we got like actual zombies coming out of the ground. Wow. That's amazing. Here, I'm gonna use the mine thrower a little bit. Scoob, what's he like? I don't know what Scoob likes. I for, I don't know. He always mentions something. Because he, he he's a he's a fairly avid movie watcher, and I'm I'm the same. Um, but every time he mentions something, it's like some shit I've never heard of, and then I'll like look it up, and I'm like, oh, <laughs> like nothing ever. I don't know. I hate to be like one of those people, but it's like it doesn't uh, it doesn't necessarily uh, appeal to me. I don't know. Cronenberg uh, is you know big among certain circles. I've shown it like, you know, the fly is the most entry level one and people, every time I show that movie to somebody, they love it. You know, the eighties one, not the one from the fifties. Here lies James Otto in loving memory of his family. I hope he comes back out so I can send him back to hell. Here comes somebody that might be Patrick. I think he's dead. <laughs> Kung Fu Hustle. I can watch it. It's not one of my favorites, but you know, I can watch it. Oh boy, I gotta start making more uh, handgun ammunition. Still can't. Okay, I got to like manually reload this thing, I guess. I was wondering if uh, maybe it was just full up, but I don't think that was the case. Damn, did I get both with one shot? I think I did. Cool. Now I could read all the tombstones in peace. Alfred Cones, 1923 to 1986. He's a cone man. I think there's a save room just like right up ahead. So I'm just going to take these. I feel like I've got a, got a couple uh, green herbs stored away too. So. Why does that tombstone say the exact same thing that this one does? I think it says father on it. It's weird. Yeah. Somebody's father. And then there's Patrick. No, oh, this is Patrick. Get in there. Ooh, gunpowder. And something. Looks like a rod. Maybe it's a ramrod. Oh, what the hell? Is this a, this is a save room? Oh, is this even a save room? There's no... Oh, it's next to this. Okay. I was like, there's no typewriter there's no item box I was confused for a second All right, let's go in here first ah damn I don't have any green herbs there were some that were back right before the fountain uh, but I felt like I wouldn't have enough room and I wouldn't have so oh well also, magnum bullets. I wonder if uh, Nemesis drops a magnum at some point, but can't do anything with that right now. It looked like there was a handful of items out there, so I'm just going to put all this shit away real quick. Try to pumpkins are placed here. 
Ah, how festive and seasonal and timely. I'm gonna make a save, but I'm gonna grab all this stuff first. Hopefully there's nothing that's gonna come out and just absolutely demolish me. Deserted alcohol bottles. There's a firewood uh, which could catch on fire. Wind is blowing from the back of the fireplace. There's a movie I've been wanting to watch again. I remember seeing it when it sort of came out, but I don't remember the name of it. I'm pretty sure I could find it fairly easy, though, because it had Mads Mikkelsen in it. It was one where he got, like, stranded in the Arctic. It was a movie of very few words. There was not a whole lot of talking going on there, but it was pretty neat. Maintenance tools are placed here. Will I take the iron pipe? Yes, I will. What is the iron pipe? What does that do? For gas piping. It's tough and long enough to be used as a pry. Okay. Just give me its full backstory before we can know that it's a prying tool. Okay, I'm gonna make a save before I do anything with the gunpowder. I'm feeling, I mean, I've so far when we've been fighting um, Nemesis, I've been using uh, the grenade launcher, which is actually coming pretty handy. So I feel like I might want to just keep using that. Pirates featuring Fabio. Can't say I've heard of that one. <laughs> Well, I remember when Pirates of the Caribbean first came out, it was like a surprising success. I don't think anybody expected it to do all that well. I remember beforehand, I think there was even like a, like a SNL sketch. And they're like, you thought Pirates of the Caribbean was bad? Wait until you see it's a small world after all. And then they did like a fake movie trailer with like various Disney rides. Um, but it was like a surprise success and then just like there was a shitload of low quality like pirate movies that came out after that <laughs> There was a lot of like DVD uh, Like direct to DVD shit So Might be among one of those People stayed away from pirate from pirates for like a good Maybe decade and a half though. There was that uh, I think it was the early 90s that movie uh, Cutthroat Island and it was it was such a box office bomb that like I th like everybody involved with that never came back to Hollywood. <laughs> it was it was really really bad. And I remember watching that movie and thinking it was okay, but I only ever saw it as a kid, so my uh, perception may have been skewed. I'm not 100% certain. However, um, yeah, it's like nobody wanted to touch pirate movies after that, so it sort of became taboo until Disney tried it. And had a lot of success with it. Alright, Chuckin. Thank you for the lurk. You have a good night as well. Hope the holidays have gone well. Sixty one and thirty three. A lot of gunpowder A here. So I was actually tried out for the role of Jack Sparrow and was actually offered the role but turned it down because he knew it would be interfere with his mod duties <laughs> in the future. <laughs> They'd be calling him back. It's like, no, I have a higher calling. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I don't think that uh, was ever gonna happen, but sure, we'll go with that. The adventures of Pluto Nash. <laughs> Speaking of box office bombs, this is another one. Uh, where did I put it? Oh, hey, I got more shotgun shells. Shit. More than I know what to do with. Ah, there's the first aid kit. Mine throw is neat, but I'm kind of running out of ammo for it. I don't know if I should keep trying to use it. the hell? Oh, there you go. Okay, finally I could combine it. That was weird. You have to, like, use it all, and then you can uh, combine it after the fact. I have never seen The Adventures of Pluto Nash. I don't think I ever will.
generally I tend to avoid the you know, like box office bombs. I have not seen them, most of them. There's been some real doozies though, where you wonder like what in the hell exactly happened to make it so bad. I wonder if I use that here. He's still directing. Which Cronenberg though? Because he's got a son that's directing now. Like there's Cronenberg Sr. and now there's Cronenberg Jr. that's making movies. And I don't... I think I might have seen one of his son's films and I don't remember liking it. He doesn't have his father's magic touch, I guess. I wonder if maybe I could use the lighter there. Oh, hey, yeah, I can. Wow. I haven't used this in a while. You no longer need the lighter. We've been holding on to it all this time just for that. Okay, now I could probably pry this open. There we go. Nice. Whoa! That was so realistic. Supervisor's report. The endurance ability of the contaminated guinea pigs is truly incredible. Even when shot in a vital area, they can sometimes survive for several days without taking care of the wound. However, after prolonged exposure to the virus, the guinea pig's intelligence level decreases to that of an insect. Even though reviving the dead seems too disgusting, the virus may still be of use. If we inject the virus into our POWs and release them, they would return to their units and then turn into zombies. This plan may work well for us in the future. In certain areas, the virus seems to have caused the mutation of animals and plants. It may be difficult, but it'll make a good sample for the bioweapon development. I've heard that there is a giant alligator, but I've only encountered a giant creature moving underground. I don't even want to imagine what creature spawned that monster. I encountered Nemesis, quote-unquote. If I didn't know about it, I'd have been contaminated and would have become one of them by now. If it is still walking around in the city, its mission is not yet over. STARS members must be very tough, since they have survived until this point. However, they cannot hold out forever. I was wondering if the guinea pig was what they were uh, referring to Nemesis as, but then they just went out and said Nemesis there, so I don't know. Oh, hey. Hidden ink ribbon. Nice. Three of them, in fact. Set to auto-receive mode. All right, I guess that means I can't do anything with it. Facts from the HQ. Attention, the Raccoon City project has been abandoned. Our political maneuvering in the Senate to delay the plans are now futile. All supervisors should evacuate immediately. The U.S. Army is going to execute their plan tomorrow morning. The city will be obliterated at daybreak for sure. This is fairly recent. Got a park key. I don't even remember where a locked door was. Small key with an iron ring attached to it. It says rear gate on the ring. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. I remember where it was now, sort of. I remember seeing it, at least. I might not remember the exact positioning of it. Grenade rounds, nice. That'll be handy. Uh, anything else? All supervisors, Hello. mission terminated. Return immediately. Repeat. All supervisors, return immediately. Over. Okay. I'm quite impressed you've managed to stay alive up until now. And you seem to be doing a pretty good job of looking out for yourself. How about helping out? I have no intention of helping you. Because we're nothing but pawns in all this? In a manner of speaking, you are. Our employers wanted a detailed analysis of the zombie beings which were created through infection by the T-Virus. 
you're saying that they deliberately sent in a military unit to be butchered by their creations? Not exactly. Although the conditions encountered on this operation were extreme, it was an unexpected outcome that the team would be wiped out. We were only required to collect live data from the subjects. Oh. Another mutant! Oh, okay. <laughs> Spy! I was taking a look while that was going on to see what movies um, Brandon Cronenberg has done. Um, I don't remember which one it was. I want to say it was more recent. And the two that he's done recently were Possessor and Infinity Pool. I think it might have been Possessor. But I don't remember for certain. But yeah, those are the last two he directed. He had one in like 2014. Or no, 2012. Jeez, he must have been a much younger kid back then. So I don't think I've ever seen that one. I don't know what David Cronenberg did recently though. The Shrouds. Crimes of the Future. What the hell is this? Did he actually direct it? Oh yeah, he did. He wrote it and directed it. See, the thing about these directors that like continue directing up until like their old, old age, not everybody got the knack anymore, <laughs> unfortunately. I mean, everybody, even Spielberg. I mean, he could still pull it out every once in a while, but yeah, a lot of his later stuff is questionable. Um, one of the saddest cases was uh, Romero. It's like he was, he's had so many great films, obviously speaking of zombies and such back in his early days and he just kept on with the living dead series and boy they got really bad there's that one that was like like filmed on a cell phone <laughs> it, was, it was awful <laughs> uh, crimes of the future that one was in 2022 yeah i never i never seen that i don't think i've seen uh any of david cronenberg's like most recent stuff yeah, well, actually, he's sort of made a return to directing. I guess Crimes of the Future and The Shrouds uh, were within the past couple of years. Prior to that, his other, his last film was in 2014, Maps of the Stars. I don't think I've seen that. Um, Cosmopolis, I think I've seen. That was in 2012. I don't think I remember liking that. And I forgot he did History of Violence. That doesn't even like seem like one of his movies <laughs> but yeah I haven't I haven't necessarily been keeping up with them probably for the best uh, unfortunately he's not like one of my favorite directors he's not like one of those people who are like oh yeah I gotta check out everything he's done but uh, I do find entertainment in a lot of the work that he's had over the years Oh, let's see. Got so much crap. Oh, I didn't even have any more grenade rounds. That's why I was kind of freaking out about it. I was like, eh, maybe I should make some next time. That's why. But I've only got gunpowder A. I can only make handgun bullets. If I had a B, I think there's supposed to be a gunpowder C. I looked it up last night while we were playing this just to see if there was any, like, what the combinations were. And it's like, there were different types of grenade rounds that you could make. Freezing, and acid, and fire. But we haven't seen gunpowder C. It's been like a non-existent factor. Cleaning instruments are hung here. Ah! What's going what the hell's on? going on? Whoa! Uh, It's a, it's a big worm. Oh, we dealt with this before. I almost died to this thing. You're gonna be stuck. There it goes. It's one of the tombstones.
missed the JFK special. The worm? I guess I gotta fight it, because ain't nothing else happening. I got the mine thrower equipped too. Shit. That is not what I wanted. I think this went right over him. <laughs> Very cool. At least a couple times, I think, with the mine throwers, so. There we go. Shock the worm. Never saw it coming. Oh, how convenient. escape by climbing up this fence well then do it hey that wasn't an official ladder too dark to see uh, skirting by all of them all right Get up there, Jill. I don't got a whole lot of room, but I'm going to go ahead and take the two green herbs because I got those two red herbs kind of waiting for them. So. Actually, we're pretty close to the exit or the entrance of this place, I guess. But um, I might just be able to go into the save room back there. No survivors. Oh, wait, he's dead. But we gotta go all the way across the other side once again just to uh get to that one gate that was locked. Oh shit, okay. You can't combine stuff while you're working with the item box. I forgot. Okay, so we'll put these in here. I think I had one first aid spray, so let me try and see, because I used one during the battle, so can I combine it? Yes, I can, ah, look at that. It actually takes uh, inventory in, so that's nice. I don't think I'll be using the mine thrower all that much right now. Uh, you know, well, you know what, it probably wouldn't hurt to have, but I got a lot of ammunition for other stuff, so. Maybe it might be better just to uh, keep my inventory free, just in case some more stuff crops up. Alright. Void saving for right now, hopefully... ...whatever's next. I'll have a save point relatively close by. No hunters? Good. I don't want to deal with them anyway.
feel like I hear something. Could just be the rustling trees. <laughs> we might be safe. Okay. I think we're okay. Just in case. I wanted to wait, see if something popped up so I could use that barrel, but. Yeah, discard it. So where are we now? Oh, okay, this was mapped out. Pause for a second there, like there was going to be a cutscene launching up. Tentacles. See if I can push him off. <laughs> Boy, Nemesis, you sure do suck. This little box there for explosives. I wonder what would have been down there if I had jumped off. Might have led me to something else, but... I was just kind of curious what would happen, like, if I decided to push him off. She could have very well died there. I wouldn't have known. Carlos. Ah, Jill, so this is where you've listen been. Listen very carefully. They're planning on launching a missile directly into the city as soon as day breaks. I know, the red. explosion will be powerful enough to destroy everything. Are you sure about that? Positive. I heard it straight oh, You saw the note yourself. They'll go this far to cover their tracks. Come on, we have to hurry. There isn't much time left. All right, well, this is officially a save room, so... And it looks like we have another little thing of uh, ink ribbons here, too. Boy, there was that period, like, towards the middle to the end of the last stream where I was not getting ink ribbons for such a long duration. And it was like... I, don't, I thought something like this was like an extra hard mode or something like that because I did choose hard at the beginning um, but I thought like maybe they weren't going to actually give me any more <laughs> but now it seems like we have plenty I've been trying to abscond from like actually using saves but I could save all day now manager's diary April 25th today is my 30th birthday I was transferred to this facility today I'm very happy because the work environment is very different from the life of the university May 14th the disposal system has been completed. Using a special kind of gas, it can decompose the cells of the guinea pigs. We have to try this out before beginning practical usage of the system, since it's not 100% stable yet. May 20th. While I was checking the treatment room, the door shut and I was locked inside. I couldn't get out for one hour. I guess even if you have the key card, it's useless when you are locked inside. June 7th. The guinea pigs we have to dispose of are increasing. The system will not uh, is not working smoothly. The laboratory staff doesn't listen to my opinions and I'm getting extremely frustrated. July 16th. We can't dispose of all the bodies and the quality of the liquid medicine is just not good enough. I would say. Either. July 29th. Thought the function of the system decreases. The number of the bodies... I think that's supposed to be though, but it is... It does say thought. Though the function of the system <laughs> decreases, the number of the bodies we have to dispose doesn't. The infection level has decreased and the antibodies we are using is no match for the new mutation of the virus. Some of the workers have been infected by the disease. I have continued the work, but I always keep a gun with me. I must remember to save one bullet for me. I want to weep. I don't want to die here. I sweat that I'll lose my mind if I imagine how painful the death will be. I'm gonna sweat it? All right, well, there are ink ribbons. There's a couple items here, too. Got a first aid spray. A facility key. There's something that took a card key, but that wouldn't be this, I don't think. Plastic card engraved with an ID is attached to it. Seems to be coated with some kind of special painting. Maybe it is, I don't know. Where are those 
Snake Ribbon's at. Diaries and books have been piled up in a disorderly fashion. Save. I guess I'll just keep it with the classic stuff, my usual loadout. Weekly schedule is scribbled here. Card key reader. Let me see if this actually works. Don't need to use it right now. Okay. I guess with any key, usually they tell you right up front if you can use it or not. A couple blue herbs there, but I don't really want to take them. Push the switch, or okay, closes it off behind me. switch on the other side that I needed to press. I don't know. Doesn't look like I could do anything with any of this right now. I think I just made things like extra worse on this side. Let's see if that changes something and might open up a valve on the other side though. Okay. I did it. Is that to standby mode where you push the switch? Yes. Power on. Push has been power has been supplied rather to the safety system. I do not know where that is, but okay. okay let's activate steam all over that. here, right? Yeah. Okay, it must be something from one of the previous rooms then, because I don't think I see any way to access anything else in there. I don't even know if we have a map to this place. Damn it, I hate these things. Just get like right up behind you. She didn't get poisoned. Use the facility key. Okay. We still have use for it, it seems, too. Something shuffle. Oh, there they are. One after the other. Come on. Line up. disc I see. System disc, okay. I think it's funny that a lot of indie games that try to replicate, um, yeah, I guess mostly like Resident Evil stuff in general, these survival horror type games always have an air of like the 90s to them, 
maybe like the late 80s at the most one i mean sometimes they'll try to replicate like slash movies from the time and you know still we're, we're kind of exiting it but we're still kind of in that period where like 80s nostalgia is big and kind of into the like early 90s but it's like i've seen games that are like supposed to be contemporarily based and it's like they'll still have like floppy disks and stuff like that and i was like wondering if people like really <laughs> actually used them at the time or remember <laughs> what they might have been used for in general you couldn't store a whole lot of uh, information on them maybe you get a password or something on there an image or two but yeah seems to be a system disk used to release the treatment room lock okay some of the very first games that i ever got on pc were um installed via floppy disk and you had a good little portion of them i think average usually had maybe about like five or six floppy disks that you need to install from onto the pc that one herb there oh this is the thing that opened up locked by the system it's a weird looking door oh it's an elevator um hold up let me see if there's anything else over here i feel like i might have missed something i got a picture saved i took a while back I guess I didn't take it personally, but I took it from the internet. But um, it was like a well, Windows 8 uh, that could be installed via floppy disk. I don't even know why you would manufacture something like that. I guess unless you had big business partners that were in a part of the world where like modern computers were just not a thing. But yeah, Windows 8 installation floppy disks, and it was like a pack of, God, it looked like a hundred disks. I don't know, it's crazy. Sure, push the button, see where it goes. When activated a, activating a polluted water disposal device, make sure that the area has been evacuated of all personnel. Uh, I can just leave them there. This guy's in a hurry to get his head shut off. Depth perception messing with me again. <sighs> I waited too late. Here, I'll just shoot him from a distance. <laughs> oh, that was all it took? One bullet? It must have been a crit. Oh, hey, shotgun shells. Yeah, I could use more of that. It's been my favorite gun. Okay. Water pollution control device has stopped functioning. It displays an error message. Yeah, I think I see the problem. This thing seems to be <laughs> filled with zombies. Filled with a nasty smelling liquid. must have been what the uh, note was referring to earlier whatever they were putting inside the water to make sure this zombies were getting disposed of decomposed properly on that but that's all right filter seems to be completely blocked a liquid with a nasty odor is leaking out but look this water looks nice and calm and bluish green get up there jill what are you waiting for oh, i've got another save room Security manual, security on the plant. Since the plant is a facility under the disguise of a deserted factory, civilians will sometimes enter. 
If this should occur, do not hesitate to shoot them. Oh, jeez. If they choose to surrender, arrest and transfer them to the laboratory as new guinea pigs. Wow. You will be rewarded. Maintenance of the device. This entire plant is controlled by an epidemic prevention system. You would think that would probably not be the best way to go about it, though. Because what if... I mean, okay. Like, if they're homeless people, like, wandering into the pipes or something like that. Okay, maybe. But, like, if there's, like, just, like, some kids that walk in there, you think people would come around and start asking questions. Uh, this entire plant is controlled by an epidemic prevention system. When contamination is detected in the treatment room or decomposed specimen pool, the plant will automatically be locked down for isolation. In that case, you must follow the manual to unlock it. If the contamination is over the limit, the whole system will automatically lock down. Then you must remain in the plant and wait for subsequent orders. Those who leave the facility without permission will suffer extreme consequences. Veteran instruments. I guess that's one way of putting it. Oh, look at that. They actually put... Look, so far, like, every save room. Maybe if not in the save room itself, but, like, next to it, we've found ink ribbons. It's crazy. This was not happening. Like, the whole city section. I should probably mention that note to her. Yeah, you're right. Hey, uh, Jill. You might want to be careful. I think these people might want to kill you. Just saying. All right, we have so many ink ribbons now. I'm gonna start acting a little frivolous, frivolously. See what we could do here. <laughs> I will be notifying HR. I believe these standards and practices are not up to company code. We take the water sap. <laughs> okay, sure, yeah, fine even know this is going to be here. Sample from the treated drainage of this factory. It shows as past the water pollution tests. Oh, good. No, oh, no, we got gunpowder. Got a lot of gunpowder. Jeez. And health items. Oh, this is where they were hiding all the items. Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on. At this point, I have so much shotgun ammo, I don't know if I should use the B gun powder for shotgun ammo anymore. I'm thinking I might want to make some grenade ammunition. But if I can make more of it, is the last time I made it, it was just a combination of A and B. But usually if you combine more than that, you can only ever combine three, but if you combine more than that, you get more ammunition. According to the wiki I looked up last time, there didn't seem to be a way to actually make up grenade ammo, just like basic ones, which seems wrong to me. Let me see. Um, I'm just trying to think of what I want to put in here. From the gamer. Oh no, that's, see, God damn it! I, there's a reason why I put original Resident Evil 3, not Resident Evil 3 Remake. Custom mixing guide. Okay, so for grenade rounds, times ten. Oh shit, we need we need gunpowder C. Okay. Which I again I haven't seen a C. Hard mode versus easy mode guide. Okay, okay. Maybe, uh, maybe in uh, easy mode they give you gunpowder C, and in hard mode they don't give you that. Yeah, 
it doesn't really seem like there is a gunpowder C here. I can still make grenade rounds, I think. Yeah, with A and B. Man, it's funny, they didn't even have it here. Second ammo, uh, chart A, B. B, B, A. It's the most interesting thing I know, but <laughs> me just reading off this shit. However, I do want to know before I start mixing stuff. Yeah, I think the only thing I do to make grenade rounds is A and B. I think all the C type stuff, which we have, again, have not seen at all. I don't think that's going to be accessible. <laughs> I need the anarchist cookbook for that. You're right. You're absolutely right. Jill needs to find it in world and then she can start making it. Ultraviolet rays are applied to the water. Uh, maybe we can put our water sample in here. There's a tiny slot where a plastic card could fit. Like a card reader of some sort. Water pollution alert. Blocking the something area passage is now in progress. To maintain safety, the lock will not be released until a manual check has been performed. Same thing. Device to check the water quality. A water sample seems to be required. Okay. We'll see that replay in this original version. Kind of got me hankering to play the uh, remake again. I did it several times, too. I don't think I like 100% of it, but I went through it. I mean, you could do those campaigns so quickly, like once you know what to do. And again, I, I don't think that game is very great, but I don't know. Kind of getting the feeling like I want to do it again. Oh, let's see. Um... Actually, I might just mix all the A and B's together. Oh, wait. Oh, that's what it is. Okay. I didn't realize that. Ha. <laughs> you mix A and B and it makes C. Okay, yeah, that's why we haven't been picking up any C's in world. Now, at this point, this is where I can start making some stuff, I think. Because I think if you combine certain letters see the problem was i was like scanning all over it i'm like no that's not how i make grenade ammo how do i do that but it's weird that none of the none of the guides that i looked up ever actually told me combine a and b to make c i guess i just thought it was a given okay if we want acid rounds b and c if we want freeze rounds c and c if we want flame rounds a and c i don't know It's the end of Halloween, so we need to start aiming for games about Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's going to be happening. What would there even be? Like, let's entertain that thought for an idea if it wasn't a joke. Like, what even would be a Thanksgiving type game? Is there any? <laughs> I don't think there are. I think I want to make some freeze rounds. Let's do a C and C. That seems to be like one of the rarest combinations. I'll do freeze rounds and then I'll do, um, I don't know. I guess I could just put the last one. I'll keep it. I'll, I'll keep the C on hand just in case I get another C that I can make. <laughs> Election simulator. Oh, I'm good on that. <laughs> it's not very Thanksgiving like anyway. We'll do that. What if I combine all three, though? Will it even allow me? Uh, where is it? Where is the old... There it is. There we go. Ten freeze rounds. Nice. put all this crap away. It's gonna be a little disorganized for a second. 
Do I have A and Bs? Because I might just make another. No, I got A and C. Shit. Ah, well. Okay, so. Might need that, might need that. Definitely gonna need that. And then I'll just take the uh, first aid kit with me for insurance. There it is. Nah, starting next month, I'm going to be making the uh, controversial decision and I will be starting up Kingdom Hearts. Controversial only by myself, maybe, but it's still a decision I have come to uh, make. What the hell? There's advice to check the water quality. Will you operate it? Sure. Which wave range will you adjust? Uh... Hey? Oh... I see. Oh boy. So the ones that are stacked all the way up, those must be all three. Um, so there's really only two points for that. God damn. So that A and B could be that. There's a yellow. God, this might be shitty. Hold on. I mean, I think the process of elimination, I probably want to start with the ones that are like stack 3i first. And then we can take a look at the rest of them. Might be good enough for that. Let's take a look at yellow. Okay. I still need something to test stack 2i. Different from the sample. Kinda almost. I need to just move the red.
Damn it, I felt like I had something going there and then it just like completely went in the other direction. Okay, let's see. Move that to the left. 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 So we got you two stack high there. Shit. But then we don't have the one in the middle for the third. There's two, there's one, there's three, there's two. Let's see how close it's looking. And almost, almost. I think I just need to move one of these, maybe the red one. so close with that that one set and then something just got messed up I wish I could see like the full range of this. If I can see the full pattern. This would probably go over a lot easier. first. Fucking thing sucks! Yeah, this is, <laughs> this is a great puzzle. <laughs> it's, it's like it's too much for me to look at. Um, okay, so let's Let's do this, because I think the two big, like those two big blocks that have the three tiers in them, I think those need to be set up with the red ones. So let's do that first. I think that might be the best bet.
make sure I have a stack of three there, stack of blue. Oh, wait, hold on. Let's see if the blue one might be able to move that where we need it. That left. Not, not quite. I need like a big blank spot, like on the latter half of these, though. Which it would only make sense if I. Ah, oh, shit. Was able to. Let's see. Well, that might work. Uh, isn't there like things that you need to pick in there? <laughs> I don't think I got a Larry the Cable Guy. Let me see what I got. There's no Larry. I'm not going to be talking a whole lot during this sequence either. So, let's see. There's Mr. Z. There's Bob. You want Bob? I could do Bob. I don't know who any of these people are that they're trying to represent. I think they're, they might just be like miscellaneous voices. <laughs> there's a Chad. There's a Cameron. Is Bob a hick? I'm not too sure. I'm not sure if it gives anybody an accent. There's one called Marcus. He looks kind of fat. <laughs> Let's see what Marcus sounds like. Uh, yeah, this is Marcus. I'm gonna listen to myself. Marcus. Does it sound like a Marcus? Go with the Marcus. How does the Marcus sound? Do you like Marcus? Is Marcus somebody that you want to get to know? Is there a bulb of fat? No, I don't think so. There's probably like something that sounds a little bit close to that, but I don't think there is like anything bulb of fat related. Not good. If you don't like that one, you don't like Marcus. Alright, what about Bob then? Then go back to Bob. Okay. How's Bob? Does Bob sound good? Is Bob a person he'd like to get to know? So there is not a Gilbert Godfrey I could assure you just uh I'll see you guys are distracting me from my puzzles. Bob sounds like a budget Sean Connery. <laughs> I mean, that could be worse. Shall we settle with Bob then? Or do we want to look for something else? I don't think it's completely messed to stay out. Oh, wait, 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 I might have stumbled on it. I think I might have it. Let's see. Oh, thank God the day is saved. Water quality check is past the safety level. All right. Um, th okay, so here's the thing with this. And I can't really show it on stream. I don't think there's a way for me to do it. Or there might be. Hold on. Let me see here real quick. I'll do a window capture, maybe. I know I'm already doing a window capture for this. Uh, I'll do an additional window capture. Window capture four. There we go. Okay. So that's it. Th this is this is my uh, my setup. My voice is already so deep, I want to make it deeper. <laughs> the thing is, I don't know what I'm I'm listening to. Also, welcome in, Critic. Um, I don't know. I have no idea what I'm listening to. I can listen to myself for a bit, but I've got no idea what any of these sound like. But, like, this is... Look at all this shit. Well, that's what... Didn't I list options? <laughs> I think I listed options at the, at the beginning there. There's so much... So many things, though. 
And I'm not even sure if these are all of them. The magic is gone. Uh, did I reveal the secret of the of the voice changer format that I have here? There's police bot. I wonder if police bot is Boba Fett sounding. But all these ones with like the human heads are like AI assisted to sound like specific people, I guess. I can guarantee you that the women one probably ain't going to work with me. You want to hear Agatha? All right. <laughs> I'll see where Agatha is. Oh boy. Agatha. This is Agatha. This is sound like an old villain. Do I sound old and malnourished? Oh, that's hot, he says. All right. At least you found something that Otto likes. <laughs> All right, I gotta get back to the game with this running. Is there a Kanye? I don't think so. Hey, besides, I can't take requests for other people. Hanto is the one that redeemed the option. Doc seems to have been released. Okay. High style or plastic card can fit. Which I don't have. I think we need a key card or something, but I can't use it anymore. I don't know how I can do it like that. Look at that. Can you take the facility key? Yes. Now I sound 12. Oh, okay. So it doesn't sound like an old villain. It just sounds like a kid. I think that's how most of the, uh, like any of the ones that pitch my voice up, if they're supposed to be like female or something like that, some kind of woman, they don't usually, uh, react too well. <laughs> because, as you say, my voice is deep enough where I don't think, uh, I don't think it's gonna react too well, so. Now that I'm already here, it sounds like I haven't hit puberty. <laughs> well, here's the thing, too. It's like sometimes you have to act it out. Like, I can be an old woman. I can make an old woman sort of cadence and be old and slow. No, I'm just talking like normal, like with my normal uh, way of speaking. Uh, that doesn't exactly like fit in with it, I think. Anyway, what am I looking for? Oh, you know what? Let's save because that puzzle was a piece of shit. Are we done with that, by the way? <laughs> Are you satisfied? I only guarantee to do it for a few minutes, so. But if there's something else you want to hear, I guess let me know. <laughs> Let's put this away and see what we could do with the rest of this stuff. Oh good, the snakes are back. I thought I killed most of them. I guess not. Oh. <laughs> okay, that, the bullet went right through them. Back to speed running this game, yeah, while I solve the uh, puzzle as slowly as possible. Hey, two for one headshot. Again? Oh wait, it wasn't a headshot. So is this thing running normally now? A little nasty smelling liquid, okay. We still might need to activate it in some sort of room or something like that, so I'm gonna go back. Uh, I guess it was upstairs. Let's see if we could do that. Of course, I don't remember specifically where this was. It wasn't that. Oh, there was this. Electronically locked. Card key reader. So does this work? I need to 
use that right now. Okay. Well, never mind then. That just goes back outside. Where was that one room? Might have been this way. Oh wait, that's the elevator. Which I think we need power to or something. Oh, can't use that. Okay, I oh boy, we might have skipped it then. I think it might have been downstairs where the elevator was. I might have just glossed over it. Oh no, it was back here. I thought that was the end of it. I guess it wasn't. You're still wandering around. Nikolai? Sir, You're still alive. Get out of here alone. Is that your plan? I made hey, wait, the shots came from behind her. Since I'll be the only one who knows what really happened, I'll have more bargaining power when it comes to discussing my bonus. Then why kill me? I'm not on their payroll. Okay. You eliminated for reasons of their own. The amount is modest, but there is a reward to be claimed upon the confirmation of your death. That's great. Except I have no intention of contributing to your retirement fund. <laughs> You're leaning out a little bit too much there. Ah, oh, what a shame. Why is his blood orange? I think the nemesis got him. We've seen that the nemesis will kill other enemies just to make sure that uh, he gets to be the one that kills Jill. He gets vengeful. Well, there he goes. Please insert a system disc to unlock. Oh, I've been carrying this around forever. Warning. Proceeding with operation in three minutes. Please evacuate what? immediately. <laughs> I remember this. Stars. Oh, great. There he is. I didn't know this would be a boss battle. I thought we still had a lot more to do here. Oops, doused in acid. Where is he? Put all these bodies in here. It's gross. Okay, I'm going to reload. Maybe use the handgun, because it seems like it might do more for me here. Cool, okay. So we got him with the acid. Uh, not applying itself very fast. Whoa, his head came off. Oh, he's still alive. <laughs> I'm gonna hope that hits him.
Oh, how convenient. Keycard just slid right out of him. No drops? I guess whenever there's like a scripted battle, not something that you can execute on your own. He never really drops anything. Yep, might be a good opportunity to use the card key. That's not the end of them. Missile attack confirmed. All personnel Missile attack. evacuate immediately. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Again, that's not the end of them, but. Treatment in progress. It seems to be part of electrical equipment. There's nothing suspicious about it. Large size of a refrigerator, there are claw marks that indicate that something tried to crack it open from inside. So, wait, was the whole reason I went in there just for the card key? I guess it was. There is that one room. yet or anything, but I could at least use it to get her back to maybe fine condition for right now without using a full first aid. There we go. That way she's not grabbing her shoulder. Okay, there's no timer or anything, but I still might want to save and kind of get everything all positioned up here for maybe another boss battle or something. The question is, where is everything? Okay, there's first aid spray. And I got plenty of gunpowder A's. I, I guess I'll mix the three A's and make... Nine millimeter bullets. Just because it is sometimes handy just to have like somewhat disposable ammunition. If I need to like hit something at a distance like I did with the acid pipes. Where's the tool? There it is, all the way down to the bottom. Okay. Put that back with the rest of them. I'll go ahead and take the grenade launcher. And then both the... Well... Here, let me save first. Hey, thanks for the follow, J-Dark. I appreciate that. Okay, we'll go ahead and make a save, and then I'm gonna go ahead and take the uh, freeze rounds, and hopefully that's as stocked up as we'll need to be. I'm assuming that we're probably gonna use up the key card to a point where I'm not gonna need to carry it anymore, so that should at least free up one slot. I don't know about that little key, though, but I guess I'll keep it just in case. Oh, I can do this. There we go. Okay. Let's check it one last time. Finally, maybe we can see what this opens up. Oh, just one? I could have gone in there and just shot their heads off. But I guess it wouldn't have been as quick. Oh, shit. Man, the grenade launcher didn't even kill it all the way. That's a shame. I wonder 
wonder where the elevator went then. I wasn't sure if this was going to be a full hallway or not. Jill! Jill, where are you? If you can hear this transmission, respond immediately. I'm here. What's it's up? A fancy looking I phone. I us a ride. The chopper engines are running and ready to go. On my way. The city's about to become ground zero. Hurry up! And don't forget to take that device with you. What does it do? That device tracks the distance of the approaching missile. Make sure you bring it with you. Now listen to me. Don't give up. We're both gonna survive this. Just get over here! It's a portable radar receiver. You've got the radar receiver. Oh, goody. Now I can know how close death is approaching me. Uh, there's a lot of shit in here, but don't seem to be able to interact with anything. Oh, magnum bullets, huh? Yeah, I never got that. I'm, I don't know where it is. It might be a drop from Nemesis, but... Warning. Missile attack confirmed. Warning. Missile attack confirmed. Emergency level D. All personnel evacuate immediately. All right, no going back. Point of no return. <laughs> There's an item box down here. Yeah, I still don't even, even know if I'm going to need any of that stuff. Shotgun bullets. Still stacking them, too. I was wondering if there's going to be a limit. If there's a limit, it might be like 99 or something. But I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> Do we end up at Scrapyard? What the hell is this? Bunch of cars stacked up on each other. Power distribution unit that is not working now. Check oh, this is the... Whatever this thing is. It's like a big cannon or something. Checking data. Warning. There is not enough power to activate the system. That's a shame. Power distribution unit that's marked as three. Oh, I can push it. Oh, no, I can't. She gets into pushing mode, but it doesn't exactly work. Control panel to manage the emergency power. Supply all the power to external devices. Maybe I gotta push them in order? Here's one. Oh yeah, I guess that was it. Oh lord, here he comes. I thought he was just turned around. He was like completely flipped over. Okay. So he pushed one in. There's two. Push it, Jill. God damn. Standing in front of it. Yeah, they changed this sort of with the remake. They made the 
Nemesis is like this big room-sized boss instead of this thing. This thing sort of reminds me more of um, Birkin from Resident Evil 2, like his final little form there. Oh shit. It's like not giving me room. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I remember with the remake, they changed it so that it was like Nemesis took up the entirety of the room. And then on top of that, like instead of just being like a giant rail gun, <laughs> it was like it was sort of like a portable size rail gun that she had access to. She could wield it like a cannon. Here we go. Do we just go outside? Back through the door. If there is a door to speak of. Oh, here it is. <gasps> Don't GG just yet. Exterminate the monster or ignore it and evacuate. No, we're finishing this. Oh, hey. Hey, there's the Magnum. <laughs> It was there the whole time. You want stars? I'll give you stars. <laughs> oh god. Well, these games do take after B movies. Wasn't the best line, Jill, but short notice, I guess. Did what you could. Come on. Operate it, yes. Jill, over here. <laughs> I see you. I guess we're all set. All right, then, we're out of here. Oh no. Not a it's moment here. too soon. It's time to go. <laughs> I mean, we're in the helicopter. We are going. Well, goodbye, Raccoon City. It's been nice knowing you. Obviously it wasn't, but yeah, those shots right there looked like they could be taken from a uh, Terminator 2 sequence. Now they've gone too far. <laughs> yeah, and then everybody turned blind. <laughs> it's the flash. Nobody was wearing any protective eyewear. And now we have a rather unfortunate turn of events. It seems that the president and the federal council have passed judgment over the civilians of Raccoon City. President and Federal Council have ruled that the Bacillus Terminate operation is the best course of action for this extreme situation and have since... Surely the general public must have known about the zombies by this point, right? Based on that fact, Raccoon City has been literally wiped off the map. 
Current reports have the death toll surpassing the 100,000 mark. Our hearts go out to those poor civilians of Raccoon City. I feel like I've never done any like deep dives on Resident Evil or Biohazard as it originally was, but I feel like when they made the first game, they weren't planning on making it into a trilogy. Uh, and they didn't have like this whole thing with like the Umbrella Corporation getting more scheming and evil as time went on. But I think by this point, they probably were, had to have been working on stuff like Code Veronica and for, you know, maybe if not in the core development of the game, at least in the process of like starting it up, so. At this point, they probably were looking towards the future and making sequels after that, but yeah, I don't know what the whole process was during that time period. Listen to this power ballad, geez. But it was fun. Um, again, it's been so, so long since I've played this game. I only ever played it once, and... I don't know. I guess you could kind of consider that a reflection on what I maybe thought of it at the time. I definitely didn't think it was as good as the previous two when I originally played it. And again, when I played these Resident Evil games, I played them back to back to back. And I had gotten them all, you know, at the same time. I started with the first one, I went all the way through three. And with one and two, I just played them repeatedly. Part of that was because of the multiple routes that you could take with the different characters. But the other part was... Just when I did three, it's like, I felt like, oh, that's kind of it. It's sort of done. This makes you really want to try Outbreak Chronicles. Yeah, the two Outbreak games apparently are decent enough. I mean, I, I've, I've, I think I've played one. I don't know if I've ever played the second one. Wasn't there one where, what was it? Was Outbreak actually the multiplayer one? Now, that, now I'm getting my games confused. I forget. Um, but yeah, there was a handful of spinoffs that were out at the time that weren't super successful, but they sure had a lot of, I don't know, a lot of people praising them. I remember one of my friends, crazy about the Resident Evil series, loved those games to death, but I never really had much of an opportunity to play through. I don't think I even played through the entirety of it. It was, okay, that's what I thought then. There was like a something some fan group was trying to do where they could make it playable online since Capcom never felt the need to try to do that. <laughs> it's like this this series is so beloved, has so many fans, and it's like all these restoration projects. It's like a couple of years ago, I did that HD, uh, Resident Evil 4 HD project, which was amazing. Um, and you know, these, these original games have been restored and remastered by fans. And it's like, just now it's like the PC versions are finally getting available. I just saw them release three on GOG. I don't know if they did two and one, but it's like the, the fan base for the series is just so strong and, um, you know, they'll, they'll carry it all the way through to the end. They're the ones that are keeping it afloat, or at least the memories of the old stuff. Capcom's just looking towards the future or trying to reboot or remaster or remake in a lot of cases. So. But yeah, I mean, there's this game This game series is so expansive. There's so many spinoffs and sequels and stuff. It's like, you know, I've been streaming for 10 years, and it's not like it's ever been my goal. Like, oh, I got to go play through every single Resident Evil game. But, you know, I feel like I play a Resident Evil game like once a year <laughs> at least maybe a couple times a year and it's like we're not even nearly done with like a fraction of of the series it could be a bitch to set up the multiplayer so they did actually get it to a point where you could play i mean that's interesting it's nice but yeah usually those cases i mean especially that because the multiplayer one would have been in like sixth gen console era and it's like you know, where do you find the workaround for that if there wasn't a PC version available? Geez. Well, completed in six hours, 18 minutes. Saved 23 times. I got a D grade. But that's okay. <laughs> I'm just playing it for funsies. Um, um, it's not like I was shooting for anything in particular. D still passing. Epilogue. After escaping the city, Jill set out to join Chris Redfield, 
However, all she found was an empty hideout of Chris's. On the floor was Chris's knife. Jill left without hesitation because she firmly believes that Chris is still alive. She will search for him until she finds him. Then they can go and put an end to Umbrella. I guess at that point, that point that's when they uh, joined up with the BSAA. Oh, is that it? <laughs> Nothing on Carlos or anybody? <laughs> Didn't want to give me any backstory on Leon or Claire? It's kind of funny how it turned out, though, because it's like, what would have been the one, like, the main game after this? Would it, would it have been Code Veronica? Code Veronica came out before Resident Evil 4 by a number of years. Um, But it's like that. They finally brought Chris back. And I don't even remember how significant his part was in that. I know you switched over to play. So it's like the worst part of the game, because it's like you play through the entirety of that first part of the island as Claire, and then you play... And then you get to a point where it's like, oh, yeah, the story's chugging along and there's like something big that happens. And it's like, oh, wait, Chris is back. Play through that whole section of the game that you already played through again with Chris. <laughs> it was just like nut. It wasn't fun, but that's all right. Oh, yeah, this is the, the game where the mercenaries started. It's not nearly as fun with the tank controls, I think. But Oh, there are other epilogue files, but you have to unlock them. I get it. And that's a shame. I don't even remember what they were. So this doesn't have a lot of the features that Resident Evil 2 did. Resident Evil 2 uh, PC edition, um, at least with this remastered thing, had a model viewer, had like concept art. I don't know if that came with the Japanese PC release by default, or if that was just something that was put in by the fan restoration team, but it was a neat little thing. I was kind of hoping it'd be a similar situation here, but doesn't look like it. Ooh, retro mode. Background resolution, PSX. Oh, shit. It was on PSX versus PC. I'm sure PC probably would have looked better, maybe? Unless it was PC of the time. It's the, it was, it's the funny thing. Back in the day, people used to hate PC ports because PC ports were always worse than console. This was back in, like, the 90s with you know a good majority of games not for stuff that was like developed around a pc like it looked say id's games like quake and doom and stuff like that in those cases the console versions were worse but usually when you'd have another game like uh let's say like squaresoft with the final fantasy or capcom with the resident evil series here usually when they were put on pc the pc version was always inferior to the console version uh so in some cases stuff like certain files because pcs back then couldn't run everything that they could these days but like certain files, like background resolution and stuff like that, usually ended up being worse than PlayStation. <laughs> I was just talking about that. I think it was Scoob I was mentioning it. He was talking about it. Um, I think last night he was in here. We were having a discussion about uh, what I liked about the new Resident Evils. And I'm like, there was a period before Resident Evil 7 came out where they sort of went back to the survival horror aspect. And it's like they were just doing like weird spin-off after weird spin-off. And it was like there was a bunch of not great looking stuff. And um, yeah, I think I mentioned Operation Raccoon City. I don't own it. It's still available on Steam. They're pro knowing Capcom, they're probably still charging like 20 bucks for it. That game probably ain't worth five. But <laughs> I mean, I guess at some point I'd be willing to check it out. It certainly, like, when it came out, I was, like, my interest was peaked. Like, before it came out, I guess I should say, because I remember there was talk about a, ooh, a multiplayer Resident Evil. And, um, you know, you play as, like, an Umbrella squad or something like that, I guess similar to what we have here with Resident Evil 3. And I was like, oh, that sounds like it could be interesting. And then the, there was, like, details that were released about it, like Nemesis is running around the streets, and I think, like, the Mr. X's and stuff. And then it came out and it just got shat on by everybody. And I don't even remember what the specific problems were, but it was it was one of those things where criticism was so resoundingly bad against it that I just didn't want to touch it. I'm like, eh, whatever. <laughs> and it's like there were so many games like that in the Resident Evil series that just seemed not good. Um, and then probably it wasn't until like maybe Revelation or something like that came out where reception started to get a little bit more positive. Because as much as I liked 5, it's like people still shat on that. 6 was not great. You know, all the spinoffs and stuff. And then, like, Revelation, it's like people started to turn their heads to that a little bit. They're like, oh, this might be good. And then we finally get around to 
uh, Resident Evil 7 and then the Resident Evil 2 remake and such. And it's like those, that's when uh, they started seeming like they were turning things around. Actually, it was around that time period where Capcom as a whole, Capcom was getting shat on with everything that they released. Didn't matter what it was. And it's like, um, after a certain time period, like in the maybe mid 2010s, I want to say that they started turning things around with pretty much everything they were doing. And it seemed like everything they released was just gold. So what is there? What is available on Steam? Um, not all this DLC shit. Let me just, what are the games? Stuff that I don't own because I think I own all the main ones. Resident Evil Reverse. Oh boy. I forgot that it came included with something. I think it came included with like Resident Evil Village maybe. And then it just like never launched. It was like two years after the game came out. It was like, oh yeah, here's that multiplayer. Um, Boy, I didn't even see it. I didn't ignore it, did I? No, that's, I don't have a hide ignored option. I don't see Operation Raccoon City. Is it not named Resident Evil? Does it not have a main title like that? Let me just type in Raccoon City then. There's a demo for it. There's got to be a game. There's a demo and DLC. Where the hell's the game? <laughs> oh, wait. No, oh, no. That's, uh, that's Resident Evil 3 Raccoon City demo. Boy, did they pull it from Steam? Wow. Fortnite chores. I got you. I probably got to do a couple of that myself. It has Windows Live, so it was delisted. Boy, that was a while ago. Same thing happened with the Dark Souls Prepare to Die edition. Son of a bitch. Boy, that was a weird thing back in the day where everything just like had to have Windows Live attached to it. <laughs> well, oh well. Rip that game. It's funny. I have, I think I have every single Resident Evil game that is available on Steam except that one. And I know it was at one point. Capcom had a lot of Windows Live games they couldn't get functioning without it. Okay, that's weird. I feel like there was another one too. Wasn't there another multiplayer game that was set in Resident Evil that wasn't Reverse or Ra Raccoon City? Operation Raccoon City. I feel like there was another one. Let me take a look at the Resident Evil like timeline. Let me just type in Resident Evil series. Let's see if I get a Wikipedia article just so I could see a timeline of when things are released. Oh no, not the movies. Stupid. Okay. Let's see. So after five, this is where things get muddy for me and what I remember. After five came out, there was Darkseid Chronicles, which was uh, the rail shooter, which I thought was fun. I liked it. Mercenaries 3D, which certain people liked. That was the mercenaries that was available on 3DS and had unique characters and stuff. And then Revelations came out. Uh, that one got a lot of praise. Then it was Operation Raccoon City. That was in 2012. Uh, and then Resident Evil 6 came out after that, and that was just like took a nosedive. Oh, it was Umbrella Corps. Ah, that's what it was. Uh, also, uh, Street Fighter uh, X Tekken, Operation Raccoon City, Last Planet 2. Others can only be played on Xbox. Okay. Hmm. I mean, I do have an Xbox Series X. I know it can play some 360 games, but I don't know if it could... I don't know if those would be available on it. I haven't booted that thing up in like two years. I don't even know if it's still working. <laughs> it's been plugged in, but I have not turned it on in a while. <laughs> oh, man. It's a big-ass paperweight, unfortunately. I got a lot of games I could play on it, though, so I got to I gotta get back to the Xbox at some point. Uh, Yeah, so Umbrella Core was the one I was thinking of. 
So there was Operation Raccoon City in 2012, and that one seemed more interesting to me, but then there was Umbrella Corps that came out 2016. Wow, that just got, like, swept under the rug, I think. And, yeah, this does not have good reviews. I don't know. Yeah, that one, like, for some reason, like, it just, I think it just, it's become a void in everybody's memory. Everyone just memory hold it. Uh, but, uh, like, only a year after that, Resident Evil 7 came out. So that's kind of crazy. I mean, they were doing almost, like, an annual release. 2015 was Resident Evil Revel Revelations 2. 2016 was Umbrella Corps. And 2017 was Bio uh, Biohazard. Resident Evil 7. Then two years after that, they did the 2 remake. Year after that, they did three remake. I don't know what the hell Resistance is. What is that? Oh, hey, Resistance was that other. Uh, it was kind of like a Dead by Daylight looking type game or something like that, or like the Friday the Thirteenth or something. I forgot about that one. That even preempted the reverse. Raccoon City is a bad game if you go in blind, even if you know it. It's only an okay game. <laughs> That's just such a, uh, I mean, you're really selling me on it here. I was willing to give it a shot. Um, and so far, I mean, we've come up to Village and 4 remake. And then there's the rumored 5 remake on the horizon. I think it did. I think I remember seeing people play it. I don't think it's still active. Online component of Resident Evil 3. So it came attached with Resident Evil 3 Remake. Let me see if I have it in my like Steam library. Because if it came attached to that, I might... It, it, I, I just saw on Wikipedia, though, it said that the servers were deactivated. So um, they... I mean, you wouldn't be able to play it, but I, <laughs> I do wonder if like I had access to it at some point. Oh, it is in my library. It's 25.2 two three gigs yeah i remember these dopey looking kids too they look like a bunch of high schoolers uh there was the one chick like with the big hoodie and the thick thick glasses yeah this was like totally a ripoff i think of like the friday the 13th game or something what do you mean what do you mean it's not trust you the resistance i'm looking at it right here I see it. I'll pull it up if I could. Here, I'll take a screenshot, goddammit. <laughs> oh, Operation Raccoon City. Okay, I got you. Hey, I'm surprised... Um, I'm surprised anybody even remembers it. Operation Raccoon City has no one playing it. Well, there, there's no doubt about that, I think. <laughs> I don't think anybody was doubting that. Here, let me see if I get image capture up. Just so we could see that beautiful resistance. There it is. You can still install it, but look at all these, like, goofy-looking teenagers. Yeah. That game was probably shit. But, yeah, when uh, when Reverse came out, I'm like, oh, it's like a continuation of that uh, Resistance thing. Look, you could, you could dress everybody up like Leon or Claire. <laughs> Doesn't that look fun? Actually, it could have been the greatest game ever. I don't know. I remember watching a couple people play it. Um, on Twitch, I remember watching some streams and I was like, Ugh, I don't know about this one. But needless to say, they didn't play it for very long, but I think, uh, criticism was pretty harsh of it when it came out. So people weren't too enthused about it. Uh, if resistance is a free game, you think it would be a lot better. You like the ideas in the game? I mean, it came attached with Resident Evil three. I guess if it was its own standalone thing that people could just download and, you know, play 
without needing to have the full game. That would have been nice. But it was kind of like a, an attached online mode for Resident Evil 3, and I'm not sure how well Resident Evil 3 sold. I don't know if it was a game that ended up doing well. I mean, me personally, I you know, my thoughts on it, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't think it's a great game, especially compared to 2 Remake. I think it it, it just it, it makes it seem so bad in comparison. Um, and I, I'd probably say it's, it's like an average game. It's, it's not terrible. Uh, and even when I like playing through Resident Evil three here, I was like, you know, I wouldn't mind playing through it again. I, I wanted maybe just like compare and contrast cause it's been so long since I've actually played the original. I would like to play the remake now just so I could kind of see, but, um, yeah, I don't think it ended up doing too well. And it did just come out like right after a major release. So it's like they were kind of doing stuff back to back to back. And even though it's like a year apart, I feel like people still kind of go like, uh, didn't I just play Resident Evil? <laughs> so I don't know. Might've been one of those things. Kind of unfortunate how it happens though. Cause if it was kind of fun, you know, or they could have been something like a live service type game where they could have maybe worked on it a little bit, added some extra modes or something. <clears throat> Resident Evil 3 Remake is not the standard of the newer games. Nemesis was really bad in that game, from what you remember. Well, I think the expectation was, and we were talking about this when I was doing Resident Evil 2 uh, original earlier this month, but it's like when Remake came out, like, I think it just blew everybody away. Like, new players and, like, uh, you know, people that were fans of the series, like, longtime fans, both, which is rare. It's really, really hard to do that. <laughs> And I, you know, I'm a, I'm a long time fan of the Resident Evil series. And when two came out, I was just, I was amazed that they did as well as they did with it. And, um, one of the aspects of it I was talking about was the Mr. X component. I thought that was fantastic. I thought they did such a good job with that. And it was so like intense and you kind of never knew when he was going to pop out, where he was coming from. You hear him thumping around the police station, adding stress to the situation. It was a very nice mechanic. So I think a lot of people going into the idea of like Nemesis were thinking it'd be a similar thing. He'd just be roaming the map instead of having these scripted sequences like he did with the original game. It's like, you know, he could be a little bit more dynamic. He could be following you through spaces and stuff like that. But the game ended up being so linear. I remember feeling like it was so tight and confined and Nemesis didn't like pop out when you least expect it. It just like a cutscene would play and then he'd show up and then he'd maybe chase you for like a couple of rooms. But he would have his boundaries. It honestly just felt like a better looking version of the original game, which I don't think is what people wanted in this instance. I think people wanted something a little bit more. They wanted like, you know, something that was a little bit closer to Mr. X that was introduced just the prior year. And we didn't get that. <laughs> we got just like kind of this watered down version. It didn't, I, I never felt like the nemesis mechanic in the remake of three was all that intense or anything like that. He'd follow you a little bit. He'd shoot at you with his little bazooka, but he's pretty easy to evade. You know, I was just messing with him. I think I threw a grenade at him or something like that. And he ended up dropping like one of the gun parts. I'm like, Oh, that was easy. <laughs> and it's such a pain in the ass, even in the original, but whatever. It wasn't, it wasn't great though. And I think, I think Resident Evil two had set the bar so high that it was, it was a big disappointment when the, when the remake came out. But I was talking about that. I think like partially like Capcom just didn't give it their full effort, obviously, because, you know, they had moved their teams on probably the village village hadn't released yet at that point. And uh resident evil four remake was coming out after that. So I think they're like primary people that probably worked on resident evil two remake probably went on to those projects and like their B team did three. They just kind of scrounged up what they had used from the previous remake and just kind of made this amalgamation, but didn't quite have much of the charm in it. Needs a nemesis mechanic from the Lord of the Rings games. Kill one zombie, another zombie wants revenge. Well, maybe not a nameless zombie. It would have been cool if you could do like specific damage, considering that you could like shoot anywhere with third person shooter these days. It's like, it would have been cool if you could damage specific parts of nemesis and he would maybe like graft a new weapon to like a missing limb or, you know, regenerate a spot and have a new ability like tendrils or something. If you do one spot over another. Um, but yeah, it's just, he was, he was basically just the slightly invincible zombie. who just kind of walked around and shot you. It wasn't, it wasn't as good as it could have been. 
and I was disappointed by that because Nemesis should have been should, Nemesis should have gotten better treatment. I feel like he's kind of a fan favorite character in the whole Resident Evil series, so probably should have polished him up a little bit more than they did. You shoot the arm off of him, and you have a new shotgun with bone fragments. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you could, like, get rid of limbs and, you know, you could craft weapons out of it instead of him just, like, dropping weapon parts. Could have, I mean, they could have done a lot of things. Let's be honest, there was probably a lot of options that could have been better than what we got, but we got what we got. And it's not like there's going to be a remake anytime soon <laughs> of three. A remake of the remake, even though it would have been nice. Maybe, maybe it'll be one of those situations where the fans will come in and they'll, uh, They'll be able to, like, make him more dynamic. I've seen it done before. Sometimes fans will do, like, restoration stuff where they change up the AI to make it a little bit better, make it a little more threatening. Maybe they could do something where he could, like, actually move between certain areas of the map and make it a little bit more intense. I don't know. It's been a while, though. If anybody was going to do it, I feel like that kind of project would have started already, but it might be one of those late bloomers where somebody will like, you know what, that sucked. I'm going to see if I could do it better. But who knows? I don't know. Anyway, we finished up Resident Evil 3 Classic. It was, uh, it was a very fun game. I actually liked it a lot more playing it now than I did when I originally played it, like, you know, a decade and a half ago. So I'm glad I played it again. It's been on my to-do list for a long, long time. I just uh, don't know why I haven't done it yet. I was kind of, uh, I was kind of hesitant because I do remember it being a lot harder than I think it was. But, you know, I played it back when I was in my teens, so I don't think uh, these days, you know, there's stuff like that I thought was hard back then is going to be the same difficulty. Um, if Vampire Masquerade showed you anything, if their vision for a game, a fan will mod it to their liking. Well, yeah, that happens a lot with a lot of things. It happens a lot with, like, Bethesda games in particular. <laughs> Although I don't know that the Bethesda games are, like, to Bethesda's vision. I think it's just like people saying, you know what, this could be better. <laughs> Beth the Bethesda usually puts in like, I don't want to call it the bare minimum, but I think especially of late with some of their latest entries, it kind of feels like the bare minimum that they could do. But that's just how it goes sometimes. Um, Hey, we're done with uh, our horror games for the month. I got nothing else going on. Um, There was a couple things that, you know, I was kind of kicking around the idea of maybe playing, but... Uh, that was stuff that, you know, I was thinking I'd probably be able to do in like a couple streams or something like that, but we're kind of out of time. <laughs> Maybe I could do them next, next year, a whole other year from now. Uh, and, and, you know, I could play a horror game whenever I want, but I do like to kind of do it within the, the season. And, uh, we do have some things coming up in November that I want to get on. So, um, going to put a few of these games, I think, on the back burner. Nothing too important, but... Fortnite chores? I mean, I could... Uh, the only thing about that is that um, I don't even know if, like, some of my timers have reset. And I don't even know what I could do. <laughs> I mean, we could take a look at it. Sure, why not? It's still early in the night. I could probably stream for another hour or something like that, even though I probably shouldn't go like too, too long, but we'll see what happens. Let's see what we got. This thing's still picking up uh, Fall Guys. All right, well, that was it for Nemesis. I will be ending the recording here. I guess we'll check out a little bit of Fortnite stuff, maybe. But uh, hold up, let me turn that off. <laughs>